Um, do, did you really want to charge to use toilets on Ryanair planes? Yes, yes or no? Yes, but not because I want the money. We'll give the money away to charity. I want to get rid of, three, we have three toilets. If I can get rid of the two toilets at the back of the planes, I can add six extra seats. With six extra seats, I can lower everybody's airfare by another 5% all year round. Did you want to make some passengers stand on planes to fit more people in, a la the tube? Yes. Um, How safe is that? But very safe. Uh, funnily enough, it, what we wanted to do was to take out about the last 10 rows of seats. But wait for it. You take out the last 10 rows of seats and we guarantee that the stand and we'd have a standing cabin and a seated cabin. The seats would be 25 euros. The standing cabin would be one euro. I guarantee you we will fill the standing cabin first. And to people who say that sounds a little risky. It would be on long transatlantic flights, 12, you know, but on one hour hops across the Irish Sea where the weather is known, you're not dealing with turbulence or anything okay. else. I actually think we kids, I mean, I did it when I was interrailing across Europe, I stand on trains, slept on trains, yeah. stand on buses, you stand on the underground in London. Yeah, they're just not in the sky. What's the difference? You know, well, we, some would the, say about the, 500 in the sky, feet. You're safer in the sky with Ryanair <laughs> than you are in the London underground. Well, you never know. It depends on the day, I suppose. Um, you've said in the past also, Michael, that your ideal customer is somebody with a pulse and a credit card. Um, do, you, do, you, <laughs> do you respect your customers? I love my customers. I think the great thing about Ryanair is we deliver the best customer service in the world airline business, which is why we're the largest airline in the world. Is the customer, the customer always right? No, the customer is nearly always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, Explain I mean, that to me. <laughs> it's extraordinary. What we, the reason customers flock to Ryanair, we are, and you said earlier today, we're Europe's largest, we're the world's largest airline, which in a depressed Ireland is a phenomenal achievement. Yeah. We're one of the great Irish success stories and we're still succeeding. So talk to me about the customer being nearly always wrong. Yeah, it's amazing. Most customers will come to us for three things. We, the lowest fare is about 75% of passengers. The convenience of the airport arrival or destination is about another 25%. And then punctuality, the most on-time flights is about another 10%. And that's about it. But the greatest, it's extraordinary, the most number of complaints we got last year, all of our tickets are non-refundable. The greatest number of complaints is about non, a non, not giving a refund on a non-refundable ticket. And we just say, what part of non-refundable don't you understand? Um, and the other one, which is uh, remarkable now, the, the greatest source of the currently for the last 10 months, the biggest source of passenger complaints in Ryanair is the on-time arrival bugle. We arrive in on-time, you've arrived another on-time Ryanair flight. And people are writing in, would you ever turn off the bloody music? We go, well, we'll arrive late if you're not happy with the music and you won't have to listen to it. <laughs>